1987. I'm at Overbrook High School. Um, very large school, five floors, and on almost every floor there was somebody involved in, in hip-hop at that point in time. Somebody that was having an album coming out, somebody that was connected to this person, this crew, this DJ that was going to New York to be in a World Supremacy Contest, or MC that was going to the World Supremacy Contest in New York. Um, you know, the, the, the most well-known name, of course, is Will Smith, but there were a lot of talented cats at Overbrook. And if you were bold enough to put your name out there that you did something as far as DJing or MCing, there was a term back then called show and prove or, or pay your dues. And you had to go through the gauntlet. Um, turning down a battle was, was not an option. You had to go through it or your name was mud pretty much. Um, so I was talking to a girl that I liked in a, in a class that I had and she knew that I was rhyming and she asked me, was I going to enter this um, talent show? And it was a guy behind me who, you know, started disrespecting me and challenged me to a battle. Um, of course, you know, I couldn't turn down a battle because I had a crush on the girl and, you know, the whole nine yards with that. So we decided to battle the next day before class. I talked to my big homie, Herm, Herm Pettigrew. Shout out to Herm again. And this was my first battle. So I was petrified. Let's be honest. I was petrified. Um, he told me to attack. And, and pretty much a battle is not like a party rhyme. You have to attack the dude. You have to really go at him, disrespect him, and let him know that he should have never had challenged you. So my cousin was a freshman um, at, at the high school at the time. So right before the class where I was supposed to battle... I ran him down, and he could beatbox. So I told him, when I hit the third bar in this rhyme, I need you to come in with the beatbox. Because I knew that was going to be kind of like a shock factor to the crowd. Um, so you, you pretty much had to use all your different tactics to, you know what I mean, try to win the battle. So, you know, and, and how it goes, if you go first in a battle, you better make sure that your bars is sharp. So that person is intimidated and won't come back with his rhyme. Or you wait and go last and have the last laugh. So I went last and, you know, it was a nice crowd, maybe about 15 kids all uh, surrounding us. And, you know, he said his little rhyme. And by the time he got to his fourth bar, I knew I had him. So I, I, I said my two bars, which I can't repeat because it wasn't peace and God bless at that time <laughs> and my cousin came in with the beatbox and by the time I got to the fourth bar you couldn't hear anything else that I said because it was so loud and, and the crowd really was loving it and I, I killed him and I was like on cloud nine and the thing about battling is once you think you the man then somebody else comes up right after that and challenges you and you got to go through the whole thing again the next day, I'm walking in the hallway. There's no social media. It's just word of mouth. And two more cats came up. Yo, I heard you rhyme. We're going to battle you tomorrow. And that's just how it went back then. But you won some. You lost some. You know, I won't be the dude. Like, yeah, I beat everybody that I challenged. You won some and you lost some. But you had to show and prove. And you had to pay your dues. I walked back to my house, sir, to get my phone so I could play a video game on it. And all of a sudden, I heard a big boom. I looked back out the door, the electric pole fell on the line was falling. And the jail tacklers sideways into the fence, and there's a guy come out screaming and squalling. On your mask, kid, horror form a classic, it's drastic. Villain hydrochloric acid splashed it. Pull it out, roof and blast it. Pow, pinstripes on a basket. New York style, wow. Shut up, easy. It's only entertainment though, one thought of completely. Sad demeanor could get in the drop and bag cleaner. Master schema, X, X, that arena, puff in Pasadena. 
He read the grass was greener. Black Beamer, I ate she gyra. Rubbing shoulders with pigs who don't fly straight. Just ate, causing indigestion. Will soon regurgitate into profit, no question. Nosy agents sniffing around. Pay attention, you can take that to the bank. Thanks, don't mention it. Pleasure's all mine. Ain't mad at y'all. Clear advantage like paddle ball on Adderall. Be great, that is all.